Welcome to another Begby Show. Um, we're going all the way back to 2014 today with the show to uh, October 2014 when Sunset Overdrive came out for the Xbox One. Um, with all these new uh, consoles coming out and the backwards compatibility, I thought I'd start reviewing some of the older games just in case you hadn't played them and you missed out and I uh, thought they were worth playing. Anyway, uh, Sunset Overdrive is by Insomniac Games and Blown Squirrel Games. You'll know Insomniac Games for the Ratchet and Clank series and The Resistance, which were some awesome shooting games. Where's our remaster? Um, it's a third person RPG shooter and it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's set in the Sunset City and you are an employer for the Fisco Corporation, which make an energy drink overcharged. Uh, you have to end up saving the city and fighting off hordes of mutants from the OD, which in short are, is uh, for overcharged drinkers that have drunk too much of the energy drink and turned into these mutant zombies. Uh, so yeah, in a nutshell, that's that. This game is a lot of fun. Um, you can see that it's Insomniac that's done it and you can see there's a lot of ratchet and clank in there from grinding on rails to cables to uh, jump pads and just stuff like that. There's a lot of humour in there as well, which is pretty cool. Um, it's a bit more sort of adult humour than Ratchet and Clank, I'd say. But it's good. Um, it's a really good game. And, uh, yeah, I played it on the Xbox Series X and I've had no problems, really. There's a few texture poppings. Um, and that's about it. It ran really smooth on that. And as far as I can remember, it ran pretty smooth on the Xbox One when I played it. But yeah, Xbox Series X, absolutely fine. Um, and it still stood up with looking gorgeous. Uh, it's a really colourful game, really pretty game, and they've done a really good job on it. <coughs> so yeah, uh, wow, that's it really. Over the top weapons, the same as Ratchet and Clank. A lot of fun with that. Guns that shoot uh, over the top rockets and vinyls and everything and that's that's really good fun going around collecting stuff to get the weapons also doing the side missions for people and locking the points to unlock new clothing which um, goes towards your character that you've created which is also a lot of fun in games I do enjoy doing that and I think games that have that in gives it that extra depth and fun so yeah anyway it's just a quick review for that if you haven't played Sunset Overdrive definitely go and get it, it's really worth it, go and download it. I keep hearing a, uh, a, a whisper that it's coming to PS4 because it's Insomniac, so I don't know about that. But in that case, if they're having Sunset Overdrive, we want the resistance on the Xbox. Anyway, download it, go and buy it, you'll get it probably really cheap and it's worth the buy. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. It's a lot of fun. Go and get it. If you like this video, found it useful or enjoyment or just laughed at me in any way, hit the like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.